Welcome to this video. My name's James and this is aimed at around AS level standard. It's a mold question and it says what mass of iron can be obtained from 16 tonnes of iron oxide? So to answer this question uh, we'll need to interconvert mass and mold using the relative formula mass or MR and use a balanced equation to work out the amount of product formed. So just to clarify how we can interconvert mass, mole and MR, we can put them in a triangle like this where we're saying that the amount in mole is equal to the mass divided by the relative mass of uh, the compound. So we can therefore write out some equations uh, from mass and I could say that mass is equal to the mole times the MR. Or I could read for mole here, and that would be mass divided by MR. Second idea is that if we've got an equation in which, say, we've got A reacts to give uh, 2B, then we'd say the ratio of A to B is 1 to 2. So that means however much of A you've got, so if we've got 0.02 mole of A, then that would form twice as much. So in this case, 0. 0.4 mole of B. So let's go through the question and uh, we've been given the equation here. There's the iron oxide and that is in a 1 to 2 ratio for the iron. So we need to work out the amount of mole of the iron oxide. Then we can double it to the, get the amount of iron. Both of those are in moles. So we'll need to convert that back out to mass here and uh, we'll have to get it into more from the mass to start with. So to start with, we need the mass of the iron oxide, and then we take that mass and divide it by the MR, and that will give us the amount in mole, and the mass is 16 tonnes, that's 16 times 10 to the 6 grams, and the MR is 2 times 56 plus 3 times 16, that comes out as 160, so that means that the amount in mole is 1 times 10 to the 5, of the iron oxide, multiply that by 2 to get the amount of iron. So that's the amount in mole of the iron. We want to work out the mass so we can take the mole and multiply it by the MR. So that's 2 times 10 to the 5 multiplied by the MR of iron on its own, 56. That comes out as 112 times 10 to the 5 grams, uh, which I could rewrite as 11.2 tonnes. So just generalising for what we've done, because of course you'll have a different equation with different amounts, <clears throat> you look at that equation and look at the stoichiometry, that's the big numbers involved. So if we've got a 2 there and a, a 1 there, we'd say that's in a 2 to 1 ratio. So however many moles we've got here, in this case, you'd need to halve it to get that amount of mole there. Now, <clears throat> to get the amount of mole of the starting material, we need the mass of the starting material, and we need the MR of the starting material. Divide one by the other, mass by MR, that'll give you the mole there. Use the ratio to give the mole here. We're going to take that mole amount there, and then to get the mass, we can multiply it by the MR of the product, and that'll give us the mass which we wanted to know. OK, I hope that's made sense. That's the end of the tutorial. Just a bit of review. I've got a question here using the triangle to rearrange the equation for mass, mole and MR. OK, thanks for watching. Bye for now.